Hi guys and welcome back to Addicted Gaming UK. As ever, I'm Rob Soma and we are back playing some more Resident Evil 7. And today, we're taking a snoop around Lucas's lab. Ah, and what's this? Uh, this report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read the documentation thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized assets, hereby referred to as mold. Initial infection, the mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself. It slowly takes over the cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from the test subject and found that they were able to coapt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-Series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under the complete control of the E-Series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Well, that is not very good. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Well, it's not that difficult because I'm pretty sure I kicked two of their asses. Marguerite and Jack. I kicked Jack's ass like many times as well. Wow, this place is like weird. Lots of books. Uh, ooh, photos. Uh, some dude vomiting. Nice. Uh, neurotoxin, okay. A necrotoxin, even. Um, oh, God, and ten minutes after the dose, the horse dies. That kind of looks like Evelyn. Um, and twelve minutes after the dose, cell calcification. Right, well, that's, that's not good. Uh, let's check out the rest of the things before we look at that big box. Oh, God, this is a lot. Uh, this project was instigated in 2000 and one of several concepts for the company's NEXPAS, which is Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance from the HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact, NEXPAS was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Well, I think that's always been like the goal of the military, hasn't it? I mean, there's no better way of beating an army than turning that army into your slaves. Uh, since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder that we had the blank and even blank blank organizations chomping in at the bit to get on board. Okay, it looks like we've got a lot of redacts. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of the blank, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that was commonly termed the mutamycite. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycite genome to the pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform the cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from a practical and faulty. Right, so they're putting this fungus into babies? That's not good. Um, series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of roughly a 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban or refugee populations. That is not good, so they're making creepy little girls. The first eerie specimen named Evelyn was proven capable of secreting the mutamycite from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycite imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have, to, uh, we still have to, a lot to learn about the mechanisms by which Evelyn achieves a mu and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-binder pheromones used to quorum sensing a pseudo mass Bacteria, I don't know what any of that shit is. That's a whole lot of big words. And big words are scary. Maybe that's something else to like add to the uh, trifecta of fear. 
Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Uh, auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. Well, isn't she just a fucking sweetie? Uh, the psychological shock that... Oh, God. This introduces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effects. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mutant mycite infection has progressed throughout the body's cells. Uh, throughout the body cells, so the body... And then a big old lot of redactions. So we don't know what that means. Okay, so that's all about how Evelyn takes over people. So she's like some sort of weird fungus baby. Odd. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's another freaky little baby corpse. Um, e. Necrotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-Series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E-Series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do not do this by placing a sample of the E-Series cells into the necrotoxin container. Okay, so this is going to make some sort of... Um... Serum that will kill Evelyn. Ah, and the little weird babies all turned to stone or whatever. Calcified or whatever it said. Right. Looks like we've got necrotoxin, so we finally got something that can kill Evelyn. We gotta be close to the end now. Oh, confidential. Well, let's see what this is all about. Oh my word, lots of words again. Evelyn functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. These fungal, their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have called these superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded in the shape. The name has con uh, the name has a certain elegance to it. Yes, it does. Well, I'm guessing they're the big black creatures we've been killing. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposable, disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects and extreme the potency. Uh, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which is even... which, I'm guessing that is fatal in even tiny amounts. Right, so I'm guessing that serum that we gave Mia probably didn't do anything. Uh, what's been interesting to observe is Evelyn's behaviour in her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as either her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. Hmm, possibly. Or it could be that you, like, impregnated little babies with mould. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that, she, that she's making up for perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Yeah, no shit. She was like some sort of, like, little baby thing and you put mould in her and then locked her up. No wonder she's acting out. Um, kind of like understandable, really, and a little bit sad. I mean, hmm, it's not good. You don't do weird, freaky stuff to kids. It never ends well. Uh, right, we're in a safe room. That is good. Let's see if there's anything here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So let's give it a quick save, and then let's take this opportunity to go through our inventory and see what we can change up. Cause I, I think we need to mix up our weapons a little bit. 
Right, we are back. I have done lots and lots of tinkering with my inventory. So what we've settled on is we've got our machine gun. I've also taken out this, the um, pistol we started with at the beginning. And basically I've made a shit ton of that high impact ammo because that ammo seemed to be really badass. And I think that's probably better than the um, pistol we've been using. Uh, I've also got my machine gun and I brought the shotgun and the... Uh, grenade launcher as well, so we've got lots of ammo and stuff for that. That's pretty cool uh, We've also got the bombs because bombs are paramount. They are like the bestest thing in the world um, See I don't think we really need that chem fluid because we don't have anything that we can do with it, but we'll, we'll, we'll stick with it we'll stick with it Right, onwards. Onwards and upwards. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. I can hear spooky child singing. Is something going to jump out of the water at me? I... I, huh, I hope not. Please don't jump out of the water. Nothing grabbed me either. Oh, well, wasn't too bad. Oh god, Jesus Christ, Evelyn! You little shit! Oh, oh shit, what the fuck is happening? Everything's caving in. Fuck! Oh shit, oh god. Hello! Get down! Oh shit, and one ahead. Oh, get out my fucking way. Oh god, we've got a few here. Oh. Howie! Oh god, this pistol is awesome! This ammo is so good! Two shots and they're down. Is that is that the mall? Alright, well, I guess that wasn't too bad. Um, right, we've got a herb here so we can make another health kit. That's kind of good. Let's do that now. There we go. Um, anything else down here? Right, the, the music has, like, really ramped up. Oh, is that another herb? Huh, doesn't look like it. Um, oh. God. Okay, we've got more molded coming in. Oh, shit. Oh, God, and we've got one of those spider creatures as well. Oh. Fuck shot. Oh, we're back off. Oh god, that was close. God, right, more ammo. Good, good, good. In. One shot, one kill. Those big claw guys usually take a few shots. They're like proper nasty. Oh, thank God. More bombs. Um, I think I'll actually... Uh, should I? I think I'll switch to my bombs actually in a sec. Yeah. What should we dump? Okay, sweet. Right, let's do this. More ammo. Oh, don't need burner fluid. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, another spider dude. Get down. Is he done? Yes. Check nothing coming in from behind. 
Nice. Time for the bombs. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, God, he's jumping. Crazy little shit. Oh, shit, there's a lot. Um, run, run, run. There we go. Not just you. Shot each. There we are. Right, damn, this is this is tough. There's a lot of these things coming at me. We're still okay for ammo, I guess. God, we've got to be nearly at the top now. Oh, cool. I can see a light. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Please be safety. Please. Oh, yeah. This... This, this looks better. This looks safe. Phew, that was mental. Right. Let's, um, let's get the big guns out again. Because, hmm. This, this feels to me... We've just gone through a horde of little guys. Call me stupid. This feels like it might be a boss battle. Yeah, we've got a big ass room here. This this seems a little bit suspect. Um, let's keep the machine gun actually, because rat a tat tat. We've got an absolute shit ton of ammo for it. Holy crap! What the hell is that noise? Okay, we've got a fat man. Fat man or okay. Oh god, it's got me. Oh my god! There's, a, there's an even bigger fat man! Ah! Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh, shit! Okay, um, that didn't go well. So, right, there's like a normal fat man. And then some massive fat man as well. Um, who the hell are these two bozos? Oh, stop puking on us. Right, so long, shitlords. Oh, shit, blew myself up. Not good. Alright, so mini fat man is down. So there's only like... Big Daddy left. Well, come at me, Big Daddy. Because I ain't scared of you. Oh, I, I really wish I'd brought the, um, the mag. I think the magnum would have probably made short work of this fat guy. Oh, run, run, run. Where is he? Where? Oh, God, he's quite fast. He's like right on my tail. Oh shit. Oh god, okay. Right, well, he's dead. Right, let's um hoover up all the ammo that we can. Shotty shells, excellent. a uh, little bit of health, that's that's really helpful. I feel like I wasted quite a lot of my herbs making just the basic health packs. I should be making those strong ones. Right, that seems to be everything. So I'm guessing we go up this, uh, this uh, big old ladder. It's um, all lit up for us. Definitely not a trap. Oh shit, we're out of uh, grenades. Uh, not good. Well, at least we've still got a couple of bombs. Um, we'll probably do a safe room in any case soon. <coughs> Oh, right. Down this big old tunnel. Maybe we'll find Evelyn at the end of it. Uh, okay, so Rob, you want to do the jumping? Uh, why the hell no? I'll do right. it. Noble, I'll go in there on the button until you're about to drown. Let me know before you get off the button, and I have to be on the button before you get on. Get off. Okay. I'm going. Now. Yeah. <laughs> right, do, do it, do it, do it. 